What's up folks, Hodor coming to you guys with a real quick video. Doing a run through on Forest Biome Nightmare 4 on defense. Um, I'm going to give you guys a real quick uh, showcase on what I'm building with. Um, I don't know, the map was interesting, um, especially with the, uh, the siege rollers. I mean, it definitely changes how you got to build. <laughs> um, I tried moving most of my stuff up off the ground. Um, before, I would literally throw down 10 nodes and uh, two PDTs and a boost aura and uh, in each lane. And I'd literally just, you know, shift tab, wait till it was done, and then just kind of go and collect my stuff. And uh, the introduction of the siege roll has definitely changed that. So I've tried to move everything up off the ground or. Um, kind of have it hugging the edges, like on the, uh, in the cave, um, kind of have a, you know, a single row of, of towers, and, uh, yeah, it, this lane here, this, I call this lane one, and then caves, you know, are two and three, lane four is the furthest, and, uh, this lane here, lane one, was a, a huge headache the entire time, um, Siege rollers, I mean, it, it happened twice, but it's still a pain in the ass. Um, siege roller came out, smashed my uh, my two PDTs, which are literally up on the hillside, and uh, my Frosties, which are, you know, on the hillside and, you know, quite a ways away from it. So I'm not really sure how the pathing works on that, like, how it, you know, targets what it targets or hits what it hits. Could have been the, the rockets coming off the back, uh, now that I think about it. I don't know. Um, all I know is that it was a uh, it was a pain in the butt, but it wasn't bad. Uh, you can solo this map. Um, final wave. I had three siege rollers spawn at once, and uh, I still managed to do it. Uh, it was close. Um, they totally just took out lane one. They took out my two PDTs, two frosties, and the uh, the earth shatter tower I had set up. So. I don't know. It was it was hard fought, but uh, it was definitely intense. Uh, for this for this map right here, I'm going with a Serenity or a Monk. I'm currently using him as my boost monk as well. Uh, my boost monk is just about geared up, and then I have to level everything. And I'm currently broke at the moment as far as just gold and uh, defender medals go. The defender medals that I have are you know set aside for something else. So that's going to uh, Eventually, <laughs> I'll level everything up. <clears throat> um, I'm trying not to put all my eggs in one basket. I'm doing four Frosties per lane, two PDTs, a boost, and an Earth Earth Shatter Tower. Um, the Earth Shatter was just kind of random, but it's got really long range. It can you know target things through walls. It can you know like it, it definitely seems with some work. Uh, it could be very viable. Um, I'm eventually going to start trying to work on this with, uh, with bees as well. See if you can do something, I don't know, maybe exclusively bees and serenity auras. I don't know. I mean, there's still, you know, there's still some options, but, and, uh, finally for the last, uh, for my DPS character, I'm running my, uh, my tank monk, mank, tunk, shit, I don't know, my DPS monk. There we go. <laughs> Let's call it that. And, uh, he, he hits really hard. Uh, I think he's hitting for like 1 to 1.4 million, somewhere in there. That's with the uh, the heroic wave and the poisonous tips. Um, I was actually using Sandstorm earlier, and I was getting better results. So I'm going to explore that a little bit further. Well, it's it's the Cyclone 3 ability on the Auto Meow, Auto Meow and I believe that's the same as Sandstorm. So I'm going to... Uh, explore into that a little bit further. Um, the only lane I didn't put an Earth Shatter Tower up on was lane 2, uh, and that's because it was so congested. I might actually move everything up onto the, the cliff edge and uh, see if that works a little bit better. I just I don't want things to to make it too too far in, because if I have to react to it, you know, see a tower goes down, I want enough time. You know, this is a very, very big map, so... Try and give yourself enough time as you can to to react to things properly. Um, 
and everything else I mean it's just just an experiment um oh yeah and the other builder I also uh I just randomly plopped on a volcano <laughs> I forgot about that um I've been running the Lava Mancer a little bit more. He's he's actually quite a bit of fun to use. So, like I said, there's so many options right now with building. With the metagame changing, the rollers have changed so much of how the game is played. Granted, if you don't play any maps with the rollers, um, nothing's changed for you. But you know, I've been trying to play some of the other maps. And in doing that, sorry for the squeaky chair. <laughs> And in doing that, you have to kind of adapt to, um, you know, to overcome the uh, the siege roller. So um, he's kind of kryptonite at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the build process takes forever. I do apologize. Um, this was my first time laying it out like this. I figured I would just try and get everything up and uh, kind of far away. And uh, it, it took me a little bit to to finally set it up, but once I got it. It, uh, you know, worked out just fine. Um, also try to keep your builders uh, in your in your deck if you can. You know, unless you're... Well, you don't really have to farm this map. The only thing you really farm from this map is the uh, the souls. I mean, you do get some random drops here and there, but they're not really that good. Um, and as usual, you don't get enough mana <laughs> to build the map, so... I pretty much just went with what I have laid out at the moment here. Just two PDTs and a boost and a Serenity right here on lane one. And uh, it held up great. You know, for the first wave it wasn't too hard. And then uh, I, I started building Frosties as I went. You know, it's kind of your best option. You know, just kind of gather up as much mana as you can, hold it as best as you can, and build during the map. I mean, I kind of got so accustomed to that from, uh, from Buried Bastille. You know, you just, you know, build during gameplay because you're on a time limit, so... I do apologize for the squeaky chair. <laughs> I'm gonna move one last time. That should be the last you hear of it. I hope. <laughs> I sit on my feet. I don't know why. I've always done that since ever since I was a little kid. Always had to have one of my feet tucked up underneath of me. And this is pretty much it. Um... Four PDTs per lane. I mean, four, Jesus. Four Frosty Towers per lane. Um, two PDTs. A Boost Aura. An Earth Shatter. And then... Um, I put a Volcano uh, up, up top between lanes two and lanes three. Uh, so just a big flat area right there. It seems perfect for it. <coughs> um... I don't know. I I had a lot of fun making this video. Um, had some issues, definitely. You'll you'll see if you know as the gameplay progresses. I'll try not to speed it up too too fast. Um, but I also don't want it to be too slow. You know, I want it to probably be you know, eight to ten minutes tops. Although we've been sitting here talking for a little over eight minutes, so hopefully no more than thirteen to fourteen <laughs> with gameplay. I try not to make these too long. Um, my attention span is so short, I can only expect what anybody else's could be, so. Um, let's see here, yep. And then the only thing I do after this is, uh, put up the remaining Frosties, and then, uh, go throw down a Volcano. And that'll be the map. And for some reason, I lost my ability to move and jump, and just kept falling off of shit, and can't jump and <laughs> I know right nerd world problems anyway I am going to toss on some music speed up the gameplay hopefully you guys like the way this plays out if not well if you see anything I could have done better just leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching peace nerds <laughs>
Real shit. 